Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy, and I'm excited to do devotions with you today as we continue going through the Sermon on the Mount. I want to look at the same verses that we looked at yesterday and talk a little bit more about them. We're in Matthew chapter 5, starting in verse number 13. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. When we read this, it talks about our salt and light being public things for people to see. Why? So that they bring glory to God, so that they will see our Father in heaven. So Jesus just finishes telling us that we're supposed to be the light of the world. But then if you go on to Matthew chapter 6, the first couple of verses of Matthew 6, say this, Watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your heavenly Father. When you give to someone in need, don't do it as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth that they receive all the reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private, and your Father who sees everything will reward you. Jesus says the same thing about prayer in verse 5. Don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues. And he says, don't when you pray, don't babble on as the Gentiles do in verse 7. Then he goes down in verse uh, in these verses and talks about other things that we're supposed to do privately like fasting. So he says, do this publicly so people will see and glorify God. Do this privately uh, because no one needs to know about it. So it looks like Jesus is endorsing here in, in the Matthew 5 this kind of a display, this, this religious display for people to see. Do light, be salt, uh, so that people will see it. And then later saying, do these other things privately. Why? It looks like he's contradicting himself. Is that what Jesus is doing? Well, no. Here's the difference. It's all about our motives. Why are we doing these things? What is it about? Private things like prayer and fasting and, and things like that, their personal devotion to God. No one benefits from those things. Where salt and light, they have a specific job. Salt preserves. We are to be the salt of this world. We are to help preserve the culture that we are in and keep it from decaying and getting worse. We're to be the light pointing people. Light gives direction, pointing people towards Jesus. So we're to preserve and hold back decay. We're to point people to Jesus. This helps our community see Jesus. And that's what he's saying to do publicly so that we keep that decay from getting worse, so that we point people towards Christ. The bottom line of the whole thing is if, if the act that I am about to do will result in my benefit or will bring me glory, I need to do it in private. But if the act that I'm doing is for the benefit of others and God will get the glory, then don't hide it. You see, the problem is too many people today want to do everything so that everyone else will see. We want to give so that people know about it. We want to be in front of people because we want people to see us. We want people to know when we are taking that step, when we're going further, when we're sticking our head up. And here's the problem. All that does is bring glory to us. And I think many times God looks down and he says, boy, did you miss the whole point. See, we've got to keep the private things private and the public things public. What am I to do publicly? I am to hold back the decay in my culture and point people to Jesus. What do I do privately? I do privately. My prayer time is private. My fasting is private. Sometimes helping others in need, we're supposed to do that privately as a person and an individual. So is it going to give glory to me? Then I need to keep it private. If it's going to bring glory to God and point people towards Jesus, then let's shine the light on it because the world's not getting any better and Jesus could come back at any point. So let's be the salt and the light in our communities. I hope you'll get in God's word and see what he has for you today. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.